Look at that beautiful sunset. Is it just beautiful? So I'm on my way to work right now. Um, I'm actually playing lava tonight. Uh, that's at Marina Bay Sands, all the way at like uh, the heart of Singapore. So yeah. So it isn't my first time here, but every time I come here, you know, the, the view, the scene, it's just breathtaking, man. And like, uh, yeah, it's honestly the best in Singapore. So what's the difference between happy and upbeat music? Mm, this came to mind when I was playing at Lava the other night when a customer asked me to play something a little bit more upbeat. Now, uh, some context is that the customer was asking because there was a wedding celebration going on and they had wanted some really really specific music that I just couldn't play at uh, Lavo because the music policy for what they asked for and what I could play was really really different. So instead, I decided to play something a little bit happier and a little bit more cheery. And they came back much later when they were leaving and they were done with dinner and they thanked me for it. So it got me to think, what's the difference between happy music and upbeat music? So before I continue with this video, let's talk about today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Spread Love. Spread Love is an amazing clothing company right out from the US that's starting to make its mark in Asia. You can get a Spread Love shirt today, link below in the description and remember to follow Spread Love on social media. Now that that's done, let's start by looking at tempo. According to Wikipedia, tempo is the speed or pace of a given piece and tempo is always counted in BPM, BPM standing for beats per minute. Tempo itself may be separated from articulation and meter, and these aspects may be indicated along with tempo, all contributing to the overall texture. So while the ability to hold a steady tempo is a vital skill to a musical performer, tempo itself is changeable depending on the genre and the performer's interpretation. Pieces may be played slightly slower or slightly faster than originally written. In ensembles, tempo is often indicated by a conductor or by someone like a drummer. So now, as a DJ or a musician, we always count things in beats. And the common misconception that many people have is that upbeat music is always happy. Being high in tempo can make a song happier, but happy itself is usually an emotion brought by more than just the speed of the song. The composition of the song also plays a big part about how we look at music as well. Now, there's a lot of material on this already, but one of the best and simplest ways to explain the difference between happiness and upbeat is from Wikidiff. A as adjectives, the difference between happy and upbeat is that happy is experiencing the effect of favorable fortune, while upbeat is a fast-paced tempo or beat. Songs like the one playing in the background right now could be said to be happy, but itself is only 95 BPM. So now, other great examples of high-tempo music or upbeat music that might not be happy would be Sometimes Sadness Remix by Cedric Gervais. I know it's a bit of a reach because it's actually a sad ballad being played fast and remade into an electronic song. But looking at another ballad that was really well done originally with the intent of being a trans track, like Sun and Moon by Above and Beyond, it's at 134. So it's upbeat, but the emotion given by Sun and Moon is sorrow and regret. So Using when having this in mind, the next time a client or a customer or someone from the audience asks you to play something a little bit more upbeat, you should think about are they looking for something to really push the rhythm or are they looking for a happier mood? So just look towards the situation and think. As performers, as long as we play within the parameters of uh, the gig, you can always make slow music 